What's up and welcome back to Cleats to Whistle Podcast. I'm your host, Brad Valdez. I'm Kevin Watson. And we are here back at the OC for the second session uh, for Player Profiles, man. These guys are out there working, man. Uh, this guy, we, what, 475? Yes, sir. What'd you get? Got about 365. There we go, man. It's leg day here, man. So what we're going to do is go right to left and get your name, your position, and your year. My name's Brennan Haskin. The positions I play is mainly DN, but I play a little bit of tight end, and I'll be going into senior year next year. Uh, I'm Josiah Wolfenbarger. I uh, I play D end and D line, uh, and I'm going to be a uh, junior next year. Let's go, man! But yeah, like I said, I appreciate you guys for coming on, man. Uh, solid guys, man. Mm -hmm. They were out there working, dude. I can't. I'm just like amazed right now. They were out there working. Um, my first question though is. Go ahead and, and shout out your men or not your mentors, your, your support staff, man. Who supports you at home or, or your girl, or whoever you want to shout out, man. I got a lot of my parents that support me, but I want to just say thanks to Coach Little and definitely Coach Grants for kind of pushing me in the weight room and kind of pushing me to be the defensive end and tight end that they need me to be on the field today. I also want to thank all my players. They're always pushing each other and getting each other in the weight room, and it's a good good atmosphere. Oh yeah, I wanna I wanna thank my family. Uh, they're my biggest supports. My brother used to play football here. He helps me out a lot. Helps me under pressure. I wanna thank uh, Coach John, defensive line coach, and uh, Coach Little as well. Um, always supporting us and building the structure here that we need. Love it, man. Love it. Uh, like I said, we were in there just watching you guys work. Uh, uh, but what if if we were recruiters, man? You know, we walked in here. What would your transcript? Tell us about you as a student athlete. As a student athlete, I'm carrying right now about a 4.1 GPA, and all my numbers in the weight room have gone up tremendously since last year. And if you look at some of my film, I feel like I've gotten a lot better in just just continuing to push myself from sophomore to junior year. Let's go. Hey, student athlete, that's my name, man. <laughs> I like uh, – I got some A's. I got some B's. Um, <laughs> I got 3.86 right now, and um, – uh, yeah, just move the weight, move the weight, <laughs> move the weight. Let's go, man. Well, you know, we talked about, you know, on the other podcast with your boys, man, we talked about close the gap, man. Yeah. Well, what, what does that mean to you? It means a lot to me. It means it's just pushing yourself in the weight room to coming together as a football team to kind of have a laugh sometimes, but it's also just creating a community with the football team and kind of like just having each other's back, pushing each other in the weight room and just always having each other's back. I like to think um, close the gap means, you know, over these past few years, we've been going through a lot of adversity, um, lost a lot of good players a couple years ago, and uh, we've had to rebuild. And I've just been thinking, you know, close the gap um, to these other teams. A lot of people are looking down on us right now, and um, we just need to close the gap between them and uh, get ready to play some games. Let's go. Close man. the gap. Close the gap. I love it. I love that, man. That was a great answer, yeah, man. Great. great answers. Two great answers. Uh, yeah. Um, now, we talk about leadership out in here. You know, what type of leader are you? For me, a leader is I like to be a leader on and off the field. Like, off the field, I can be just messing around with them, making sure they're staying good in school and having good grades and all that. While on the field, I can kind of be a pain in the butt, kind of just in their ear, always making sure that they're trying to do their best as best as possible. And also as a leader, I'm trying to push other leaders to kind of push other guys as well and me not just be the only leader out there on the field. So you're a verbal guy or show-me guy? I'm kind of a show-me guy. Okay. I like to think there's two types of leaders. Um, and I, I like what he said. Um, you can be a leader on and off the field, um, one who's sometimes all up in their faces and, uh, you, know, you know, move the weight, you know, stop doing that. But there's also a, a compassionate leader. And uh, like we know uh, some of these new guys haven't experienced, you know, some high school football, uh, and they're going to need some help. Like I said, adversity. They need some help pushing through some adversity. And uh, we've experienced that, and we know sort of how to get through that, and we could help them get through that as well. Hey, I'm, I'm done. I mean, that's – <laughs> I'm telling you, but that's, that's the that's way. That's probably the best answer we've heard. That, yeah, and that, I mean, the, that, the that leader. defines the, 
that that's it. That's it, that's man. It. That that was a phenomenal answer, man. Great you know, and because you know, you're a young guy, man. Yeah. You were a young guy last year, man. Yes, sir. You know, did you look at you know who did you look up to? You, you know, the uh, like a senior last year. Who was who was that one guy? Oh, probably Mason Music. Mason Music. He's a big guy, and he was always a struggle trying to get through on uh, the DN. And uh, man, he. He might he was a little lazy sometimes, but I mean he came to practice and when he was ready to go, he he'd give you a challenge and he he pushed through. He pushed through those hard years I was talking about. You know, he pushed through COVID, he pushed through um the 0 and eleven year and even last year. And uh he came to practice and he was laughing and he was having a good time, but he was serious when he needed to be. Love it. Love it, man. I'm a fan of this. That, too. that was that was I'm phenomenal, a fan of these man. Two guys right here. Man, so so you know, how do you feel about this team this season? You know, this is your season senior uh, season. So last hurrah, right it. here. This is it. You know, well, like uh, Wolf said, I mean, we've been going through a lot of adversity, and last year, even though we got more wins than this the year before, we're still hoping to keep pushing. And I just feel like this seat, this team has come a long way since it did when I was a sophomore, so two years ago. And I feel like all our numbers in the weight room have gone up, and it's just cool seeing how our team has developed. Um, all these freshmen and sophomores that are coming in, I'm glad they get to come in and watch the um, the team change, and I feel like this year is going to be a big year for us. Yeah, and how do you feel about this team? Man, we lack a little bit of size. But other than that, I mean, we're moving weight. We, we're working on the field. Uh, it's a new team, almost, from – you know, two years ago when we were 0 and 11, it's um, it's a new dynamic, it's a new mindset, and uh, we're working as hard as we can to become the team we want to be. We we're still going to face adversity. I'm not saying you know we're going to be you know state champs this year or anything. We could, Why not? but um, I'm saying it's going to be hard, but we need to keep working, and uh, we're doing that. So what's the saying? It's not the size of the fight, the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight and the dog. Yes, sir. You can be the smallest guy on the field and be a dog. <laughs> Hit the dog button. Hit the dog, Eric. And then this guy, close the close gap. Close the gap. Close I mean, the gap. That's, that, I love you too, man. <laughs> that's why I this said I was great. getting nervous, man. Like, great. He's, he's over here killing, and I'm over here stuttering. And everything. We sound like a bunch of bumbling idiots compared to these guys. Wow. Oh, my God. Uh, do you guys have any uh, uh, personal goals for yourself? Uh, personal goals for myself, I would like to just get more of my highlights out there maybe and just kind of get more seen by recruits. And maybe because this is a year where you start as a senior, you just got one last ride. You're going to be start going to camps. You're going to be just trying to get your name out there and maybe just maybe just show yourself one more time. And I feel like my goal is to just work harder than last year. Maybe instead of getting five sacks this season, last season, then get maybe 10 or 11 this season. It's just – just constantly just keep pushing myself on and off the weight room and pushing other guys as so, a team. One percent better every day. Yes, sir. <sighs> Goals for me, man, I want to play college football. I I love this game and um, getting to that that point. I'm not there yet, um, but like I said, we're out here working. I'm, I'm working to get there. Um, I know I need to um, uh, be more presentable. I need to get better with my technique. Um, but I also got to get better at, um, you know, making tackles too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wrapping up. <laughs> There's always that. <laughs> you know, I got to be more of a dog when I'm trying to get through the line. Um, and like you guys said, you know, uh, I, I lack some size. I'd be going up against – you guys interviewed him, Matthew Wells. Uh, I'd be going up against him. But, um, man, we just – you like you said, it's not the, the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Um, we going after it this year. Um, yeah. Close the gap. Let's go, man. Hey, I mean, it sounds like both these guys have their own personal gap they want to close. I mean, that's a team thing, but listening to this, it's it's personal to these two. I mean, especially him. This yeah. is it. Yeah, this is it, man. I mean, that's the close the gap means a lot more to him than it does to him at this point in the in the game because this is it. Yep. Jesus, man. Yeah, man. Great I answers, know. man. So, did, did you guys grow up here uh, in, what is it, Buckner? LaGrange? What, what is kinda it? It's kind of Oldham, Oldham County. Oh, Oldham County. County. So, so let's just, just say Oldham okay. County, you won't be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> OCYFL, I guess that's, that's right. what you that's guys right. played that's for? Right. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, like I said, I've grown up here, born and raised Lagrange. Uh, I've been playing football ever since I was four and a half. Started over there, <clears throat> OCYFL, went through o Oldham County Middle School, and now here at the high school. So this game just means so much to me, and it means so much to the Oldham County community. And then we all know the rivalries between us and South, even though that's not our Super Bowl, but it is definitely a game that every guy wants to win. Even if we're playing North, that's always a game that everybody on this team wants to win. Uh, I was born in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, and um, I lived there for about five weeks. Um, and then my dad got a call to a church up in here. It's uh, Bowersville Baptist. That's a shameless plug, man. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've been playing football at OCYFL. Um, I played there for six years, um, and then I went into East. Uh, you didn't go there. Rivalries. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I went to East for two years um, and then uh, came here, loving it. There you go. Now, now, not a shameless plug, man. Go ahead and, and <laughs> shout out, shout out that church, See, man. Pastor, or? yeah, he's a pastor. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, Ballardsville Baptist Church. It's up in, uh, I guess, Ballardsville. Um, it's sure not in Louisville. No, that no, name. no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we uh, hey, yeah. come to our Easter service. Awesome. Yeah. So, so get, touching on the the rivalry. Yeah. I mean, it's got to mean you, you played Little League with all those guys, yeah, right? I mean, there's only three high schools here, so you had to play Little League with them. What, what does that mean to you, playing against some of your buddies growing up? It means it because we all grew up together. Right. We were all on the same, like, OCYFL all-star team and all that. And it's just cool to kind of see him progress, and you'd be like, wow, look at him. He got a lot taller and stuff like that. But even though they're my buddies, when it's the game, when it hits the game, I, they are not my buddies anymore. At least for that moment, but you know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just cool to see him grow up, and watch all of us grow up, close the gap. Yes, sir. Love it, man. Love it. Now, how, how do you feel about that? You know what I mean? We we hit the yeah. trifecta. I, I've been to North, we've been to South. Now we're now here at the yeah. OC, man. It, it's it's a it's a really good vibe, and oh, yeah. just in Odom County, man. These rivalry rivalries, my bad. Um, they're great. I love them. They drive. They drive me. I bet they drive you. Um, but playing these guys, like he said, um, it's encouraging to see the, how far they've come, and it gives gives me a standard. Like, oh my guys, they're they're getting better. I need to get even better than that. And uh, you know, color this mic's a little it should be blue, but you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah. hey, you know what? <laughs> I've been waiting for somebody to bring this up, and nobody has ever did it. So, this like, guy, all is, except for a big, what was it? His name's Matt, right? The big yeah, guy. Big Matt. Yep. I mean, he was like six, seven when he was 13, right? Yeah, I mean, he's really not gotten any bigger. He's always been big. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that dude's a monster. Oh, I've been going is. up against that kid for six years. Oh, isn't it crazy? Yeah. He's, he's huge. Ever since he was 10, I've been going up against him. Yeah. He's been <laughs> about 6'4 when he was 10. So. Yeah, he's a big yeah. dude. <laughs> oh, he oh, man. Okay. So, your favorite memory playing football this is a hard one uh, i really miss those days in ocyfl all-stars uh it was about three weeks of just hard mouth football where we go to like owensboro and we stay here at ocyfl and do a tournament also go up to places like bullet county and stuff and we play another rival the oc tigers i don't know if you know that team here but we have played them that was just one of the greatest football moments it was just we Every, I mean, we had played like three games a day. I mean, it was just like hard mouth football, and you had to really have some courage. You were on that team with me. I was. So you had to have some courage to play, and that was probably the best memory I've had. Your favorite memory? That's so hard, man. Uh, I got a couple, but I'll stick to one. Uh, it was in Owensboro. Uh, we were playing there. Uh, it's kind of a funny memory, and there was a, uh, a, a serious memory in there. Uh, we were playing some team called the It's up in Indiana. You remember them? Yeah, I do. They were huge. <laughs> I mean, these kids were mm -hmm. 16. We were eight. Uh, no, I'm, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Checking <laughs> birth certificates. Yeah. <laughs> they needed to. These kids were huge. It I felt like that. We played the whole game 0-0. Zero, zero. We go into, like, double overtime or something. They don't have full full field overtime. We're on the two-yard line. And uh, I was nose guard. I remember shooting in and picking up a fumble. Got a kid named Jeffrey Vizana, and he ran mm -hmm. it in on the next possession. That was great. And after that game, we went to this place called like Moonlight Buffet, and I got a oh, foot tall oh, yeah. ice cream. They had the buffet. So good. Buffet, right? <laughs> yeah. I definitely oh, yeah. remember those soft serves. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. That's the best thing that ever come out of Owensboro, by the way. The buffet. <laughs> it's got to be. Oh, my God. Coach over there, like, twitching. 
touch it. Uh, Here's uh, Owensboro. Hey, Owensboro put us out of the playoffs three out of the five years oh. I was coaching. So, yeah. Dang. Yeah. I don't, I don't like the old word. <laughs> what other sports uh, do you guys play? Right now, I'm just sticking to football, but I have done, like, as a kid, you know, you go yeah. through phases, play baseball, soccer, and I stuck with basketball for a while because, you know, as my build, I kind of look like a basketball player is what I get a lot. And so I did that for a couple of years, but football is just the one I've just stuck with my whole life. It's kind of changed me as a person, I feel like. I started in uh, football as well. Uh, I picked up a little bit of baseball, thought that would be fun, and then uh, football started taking up a lot of time, switched to that, tried to pick up basketball, switched back to football. Um, and I've been thinking about doing some wrestling for some uh, hand movement for the DN. Um, but other than that, football has been my main thing. Love it, man. Football guys here, man. Football guys. Let's go, man. Okay, uh, what, uh, we already said what other sports. What is your favorite uh, music artist coming out on Friday night? Oh, geez. I don't know. I'm kind of old school. Shout out to Dad for getting me to the old music. But I'm more of like a Metallica kind of guy running out. Like, I don't know. I'm not into the That's old That's the only correct stuff. answer. Uh, I told you I'm ACDC, Metallica so it does, it, 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 it's not that far AC, off. ACDC works, if but Metallica, Metallica doesn't get you fired up, you're something wrong with you. I know. Hey, I think there's nothing different than running out to some Thunderstruck. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to be That's honest. Great. It's kind of yeah. mean. I don't remember the artist. It's ACDC. ACDC. Okay, That's what I'm okay, talking okay. about. Uh, yeah, but Thunderstruck, man, it goes yeah. crazy. It's nuts, man. It is nuts. You got us both covered there. Yeah, yeah. Split, split. But now this is the now this is the question here: PlayStation or Xbox? Oh, I gotta stay home. I'm a PlayStation guy. Have a PS2 all the way up to a PS4. Nice Xbox, baby. Oh, we're splitting. Split the system. Yeah, let's go. I'm Xbox, and he's PlayStation. (laughs) What game you guys grinding on right now? I'm I'm in MMA, so I've been playing a lot of UFC lately. I love me some UFC and just Madden, basically. And I got to stick to some good old Madden. Yeah. Good old Madden. You, look, you sound like coach, man. Jeez. It's the only game out there. Hey, now, okay, this is going to be the serious question. Favorite fast food? Oh, man. Well, I work at Freddy's. Sorry, Freddy's, if you're watching this. But I'm going to have to say, like, Hardee's or Culver's. Culver's. Oh, Culver's, beat that. Culver's is legit. Culver's is good. Can't That's beat that butter bun, man. Cannot beat the butter bun. And their fish is really good, too. Yes, sir. Fish ta- they have fish tacos, right? They do. It's really good. Oh, I just get the the fish and chip, or mm-hmm. you know what I mean. The, that's what I get. But anyway, man, Hardee's is good, but you know what's even better? Kind of sounds the same. It's Arby's. Arby's got this beef and cheddar. Arby's, the beef and cheddar. Hey, beef and cheddar is good, but I'm gonna give you a way better deal for basically the same okay. price. Okay. It's a secret menu item. It's called the Meat Mountain. The secret hey, menu <laughs> item. If you ask oh, any man. coach here, I guarantee. 95% of them have heard about the Meat Mountain. Meat Mountain. And what is on this Meat Mountain? Meat Mountain, it's like two <laughs> ounces of every, or not two ounces, no, that's too much. Like an ounce of every single meat and a, a piece of every single cheese they have what? on one sandwich. Whoa. And, and it, you can get a meal for like so 16 bucks. So what do you, you just say, I want the Meat Mountain? Go in there. I think you have to go to the one here in LaGrange. I heard uh, like two hours away, they don't got them. Um, uh, but you go up. I should have saw this coming from when he got that big old stuff going. <laughs> 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 Meat Mountain. Meat Mountain. That should be your nickname this year. <laughs> there Mountain. it is. <laughs> Check the description. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're watching film with Coach. Yeah. He's just absolutely ripping your butt about something that you don't do that you should do. What is it? I don't know. Um, I feel like my pass game, my pass rush game, needs to get a little better at Dan's standpoint. As long as like holding your gap, like whenever you're set like, free, edge. yes, sir. Fret, uh, yeah. Setting the edge. Nice. Man, they hate it when I spin. I always be oh. spinning into the interior He's and one stuff. Of those guys. Uh, <laughs> yep. I mean, it messes me up, man. I, it works like. 10% of the time. <laughs> Coach, and when it works, it's amazing. Coach John, hey, if you're 10, watching this, yeah. I'm going to yell at him too. <laughs> <laughs> this this What's guy it? is a defensive guy, so he's 10% probably going percent of the time, it works every time. <laughs> so here's the thing. Well, here's what I always just say. You can spin. Yeah. But if it doesn't work, you're never spinning again. Yeah. So get it, out of your, get it out of your system the first week. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, 
you're done. He's been told that before, too. And he still does it. And yeah. he still does it. I know. It. I know. <laughs> hey, Trust me, I know. you got to perfect the spin move, man. You do. you got to have it in your repertoire. I mean, yeah. it's got to be there. You can't do it all the time. It's got to be there. Man, there so you go. So you play nose? Uh, You're spinning as a nose? No, I, I used to play nose. That was back in Little League. Um, I play uh, mainly DN, uh, and they can move me inside, too. Um, okay, I was going to say, if you're spinning at nose, we're going to have to have no. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're going the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That would be crazy. No. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Coach, ask him that last question, man. I love every minute of this. Uh, we could stock and stay with these guys all day. <laughs> so this is kind of a serious one. That, you know, it's not too crazy. But you're, this, especially for you, your football career is over after this year. You can't play college football, mm-hmm. hypothetical. Mm-hmm. What do you do with your life? Well, what I do with my life is I'm a I love welding, so what I'd probably do is go into trade school is the goal and I'm gonna be a pipe welder when I grow up. If nice. but we really want football to work out, but that is definitely plan B is to go to trade school and be a welder. That's a hard question. Um You still got another year, so yeah, yeah, you're, a puppy, you're a puppy still. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm banking on football working pretty much, but um I'm not as smart as my brothers. Uh they're uh they're you know going to college. One of them's not going, but one of them's got a scholarship right now um, in academics. But um, I, I'm not that smart. Um, probably something um, I want to be a teacher. It kind of goes along with uh, trying to be a leader um, anywhere I can. But I feel like teaching would be fun because I, I could also it. coach. I see it. Um, and if that don't work out, probably try and go into either like the Air Force or completely different, maybe ministry. Awesome. Phenomenal episode. I went, I went to trade school, so I feel you. I mean, I, I was a sheet metal worker for 15 years. So, hey, college ain't for everybody. Yeah. It ain't for and me. It's a good, <laughs> it's good, it's a good living. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, phenomenal this episode. Great. Yeah, phenomenal. I can talk to these dudes all night long. Yeah. What, what an yeah. episode, man. Yeah. Uh, but like we always say, everyone has a story. We're here for them to tell it. Cleats to Whistle podcast. <laughs>